Hey, my boy. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Basin, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's place. Cast about this land, my friend. Where's Sigurd gone? You made it. I did. I should send a letter to Honwell to give him the news. He misses you, that is certain. But as Elderman, he cannot... I pray he fares well. He should be fine. He has the heart of a leader. <laughs> Zunim, guide me. Cemetery. His mood is dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. 
For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this... All you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Greeting. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall.
cattle climbed into the hills. Threatening soon. Hey, who's that? Everyone all right? Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Abel Raven friend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Farve, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Shuffle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Bows! Skewer the rest! Coward! Are you wounded? <coughs> if we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowit's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravit, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! 
the oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrok, so he says. What do you make of him? Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? Watch out! A good travel. Well. Nothing more? Say it. Renir Ogum. The way is blocked! 
Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. We'll crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Haftan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that. King Vishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. I've done Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced smirk in glory, hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. <laughs> Not here. Let us get away from envy's ears. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Yeah, 
show you a wonder. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together. You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal, then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. We can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing? If he's a good and loyal man. He 
Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Farouet fool you. He is hiding something.
does now, Dick. No raising the sail here. Let's this have a song. This wind would fill the sail. Wind by our sire has it armors and shields out of water. They were forged. Loudly small sail. You sound small. Got a story? Sing us a song. Let's hear a story. Did I tell you about the time I pretended to be a goat? I am no stranger to the company of other swines. There was one beautiful wren married to an old blind owl. <laughs> I could not resist her. So when he fell Drop asleep, the mask. He he at him by the fire. She let me visit her most private chamber. She was a chirping songbird, but I was a braying buck, rousing the dead in my ecstasy. At the moment of glory, the old man burst in on Let's us, waving his crop. He struck me on the arse, and I gave a yell. Who's there? He cried. But my girl was quick of wit and... She convinced old blind Alvin it was not a man in a room, but his prize goat. Escaped from its end, he dragged me by the hair, down on all fours to the barn, where he bolted it fast. I spent the night lying in straw and shit. Still, the best night of my life. <laughs> Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in, Gunung, I got you. Part of it. Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Over piss off. Small men always talk big. So was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faravid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. Our raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faramid. I am here to fight Picts. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More need, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. 
Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. What is this? Run forward! Faster! Faster! This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any... Godly places should be home filling my tail. The Picts march this winter with help from an unknown quarter. The Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. James, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Run! Faster! Faster!
South of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. Don't raid Don't often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain.
to join your fallen. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Drag the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk, but I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse, but if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. And I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Hafton. Good! Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Waltz. Each victory. Like his cock, eh? 